Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to Shawanda Ford. Thank you for your continued support. And I want to go ahead and discuss something because this is one of the lessons that God is going to need us to learn. He wanted me to share this with you, yes, okay? It's one of those things. I had a discussion with him about it and I said to myself, you know what? Um, there could be some fellow chosen ones who are going to ex experience this, okay? Cause remember how God, he'll, he will level us up, okay? And he will deliver us out from under a uh, particular evil, okay, on this journey. And when he sees, we've learned lessons. And sometimes the lesson isn't necessarily that we need to observe any more narc behaviors. We already got those down pat. Okay, so just hang with me, all right? So you, you've gotten all, you've identified it. You know, they're a part-time narc or full-time narc or, you know, or not. Okay, you've been able to identify that. You are listening, okay? You're listening to God. But he also has lessons for us, for him, that we must learn as well before uh, and he wants me to share this with you all because it's all part of developing that godlike patience, okay? And part of it is learning how to take things one day at a time, all right? Remember that even when we get in our purpose, okay, we're not going to have it all figured out. Mm-mm, no, okay? We're not going to have it all figured out because we're going to learn new things along the way. That's, that's how it goes. Okay, the, we're going to learn new things. We're going to be doing fine-tuning and tweaking in that purpose along the way. God knows this. A lot of times he just needs you to get started. Okay, once he reveals what your purpose is, your calling is to you. And then he needs you to learn how to take it one day at a time. And I'm going to share with you all. Yes, because I had to do it too. Okay, I had to do the same thing. Because when, when it all started, okay, so brief story time here. When it all started, you know, I got the website going, and then now we branched out, and it's like, okay, you know, we're being on Instagram, on stuff, and I needed to have some sort of a strategy for all of this, to get all of this content and things out here to you all. And so the Lord's like, you know, one day at a time, okay, because whether anyone else knows it or not, you know, the, the first thing, you know, well, aside from the rumble, okay, we're not even going to talk about that. It's not even in existence anymore for us, all right? But once we got this going here on YouTube, okay, once we got this going, you know, after we launched the website, you know, and then we got this one running, up and going, okay? And then God had to guide my step on a strategy, okay, for getting this stuff up. And to continue to build and to continue to learn. Yes, y'all, some of my older videos, you're going to see some of that in, in action, okay? Where I went through those moments of experimenting with this technique, this editing tool, this one. Did that work? Nah, we didn't really like that. Oh, we didn't like doing that. And then some of the bloopers. I'm not saying there won't ever be any more bloopers, y'all. <laughs> we just don't know when those are going to come out, okay? A lot of times, I'll just leave them in, <laughs> okay? You know, but um, as far as when we do that again, it just, whenever, when it happens, okay? When it happens. But, uh, you know, we don't, yeah, that's, that's what, <laughs> it happens a lot, by the way, when I'm putting together those short little, uh, ad, <laughs> and I want, uh, I wish I could, but I have to keep them, like, under 40 seconds, at least, or try to keep them under 30 seconds, it's really tough to do, but, oh, man, do I get bloopers, because I have to script those out a little bit, okay, I have to, and so that's where more of the bloopers you know, kind of evolved from, okay, when we script stuff out. But we, we, we've learned that we'd rather go ad-lib over here. We, we don't really care to do, like, as far as the long-form content. We don't care to do it scripted. We learned that. That's all part of the process. I'm, I'm just sharing this with you all so you have something as an example, you know, because there's certain concepts in here that will apply to you as well during the process. Okay, with whatever it is you he gives you to do. Okay, 
but we're always going to be learning new skill sets. And so we got to have patience with them because we have to, you know, you have to, we have to experiment a little bit and figure out, okay, what's going to work for us in the kingdom of God, okay? Because remember, everything we do when we get in our purpose, that's to serve the kingdom of God, to please God, okay? That's to serve God. And so developing that God-like patience, it's all part of the process as we are unlearning the indoctrination of impatience that the world likes to dish out. Okay, remember it's like, mm, yeah, the rush, rush of the matrix. Okay, I talk about that on the Patreon channel, but we learn that you know that you know, God is not only strategic, but He just He why He needs us to learn these things along the way to develop that God-like patience. Because I'm here to tell you, for those of you, okay, who are in the process of building your vision board, remember we got to have vision. Okay. So, for those of you who are, if you are not, I highly encourage you to do however you do it. Okay, and as a reminder, I, I just put mine on a piece of paper, folded it up, put it in a nice safe place. I know where it is. God knows where it is. Okay, but we don't want to make sure that no other eyes see that vision board. That's really, really important. That's all part of moving in silence. You don't want any other pairs of eyes because you don't know. All right. Well, the, for those of us who do know, we know why. There's a certain uh, sets of eyes that don't know. That's between us and God. Okay, that little vision board is between us and God. All right. So we want to keep it in a safe place. And so that's what I did. I just put a piece of paper, folded it up. It's in a safe place. God and I know where it is. And so that way, and, and it's still here. All right. God knows it's still here because, like, we almost like we have to give God something. Okay. Ah, now I see. Okay. And this, you know, God will be like, oh, I, I see. And so that God will make it happen. But he needs us to develop that, that God-like patience because it can be very easy for the enemy to tempt us into trying to do all of it at the same time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. God says, no, I need you to finish this project first. Then whatever it is God was working on that aligns with that project, then he'll bring it together. Then we move on to the next project. Now, there are some projects that will overlap. Okay? So like on the day, this day when this video was recorded was also a day I did a live stream. And it's also a day where we were still working on a transition from another, from the other platform. Okay? But they're all the same project. Okay? Underneath it all, it's all the same project, the same thing that God had us doing, but they overlapped. Okay, so I wanted to make that distinction for you, you know, to help put that in perspective. Okay, that's not what, that's not God's okay with that. He's like, yeah, I know, because you've got a strategy, you've written it down, you know, okay, this is how you're going to roll it out. That's how God's going to guide our step. Okay. But the enemy would love to try and trick us into overwhelming ourselves. And so God needs us not to do that. Because God's like, okay. That way, when he finally gets us where we can, where we can be so that we can fulfill and you know, uh, see the vision okay, uh, come to life. Okay, so where we can see that, where we can see it unfold in our, in our lives, in the physical, okay, starts here with the vision, and then God's going to guide our steps, but along the way, he needs us to develop that patience, so that when he gets us in that spot, okay, gets us in a, a particular location where we can fulfill more of those things, and to please God, He's always going to give us additional vision. Yes, we're always going to have one. Okay? That's how God works. But we got to start with something, right? Got to have a vision so he can get us in our purpose. All right? See, so like, for you all, my mentoring survivors for many years, okay? That has always been with me. And so God knew that. That was my purpose. Okay? It still is. Okay? Obviously. And so all he did was take it to the next level. You see? That's how God works. Like once you get in your purpose, even if you're just getting your big toes wet, right? Once God can see that you are in your purpose, he's just going to 
level it up okay and so you have your vision and then you keep going and you work towards that goal because your visions are goals when you stop to think about okay it's vision it's like all right where do you see yourself in this many years where do you see yourself all right how do you see this looking out and God told me I can share this with you all. All right. So yeah, where 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 I am already spiritually at. All right. When when I get there physically, I already have ideas in my head. Okay. I already have the vision on what a certain. It may not. It may not look exactly the way I am thinking. However, because I know that. But I have an idea. Okay. For example, you all. This is a good one. This is a good one. Okay. So, so i got to pick out. You know, it's our turn to pick out a. Let's say a new bedroom suite. Right. And we have an idea. Of, of what we want. Okay. Of what we would like it to look like. But when we actually finally are able to go. Where we can actually get it in the physical. It may not look identical to what we had in mind, but it is going to be close enough. You know what I'm saying? It's going to, uh, it, it'll fit. It's like, okay, you know what? That, that, that's close enough. That will work. You know, because God's already got it picked out. Remember, it's already done, everybody. That's why you got to have vision. All right? When you have those vision. God's like, all right, I see, I see, I see, okay, okay. Because God is going to grant you your de desires of your heart, all right? He's going to. As long as, uh -huh, they're realistic, you all. Reasonable and realistic. Mm-hmm, that's right. And not putting them above God. God first. And then he, and he, once he can see that we've got that down pat, that we're putting God first and putting God in all that we do, okay? Once he sees that, then it's like, okay, he's going to make sure that we can continue in our purpose. He's going to make sure. He's going to send people across our path. He's going to connect us with networks who are going to help us get where he needs us to be. And again, as a reminder, it does not matter, the size of an audience. It does not matter the size of anything. Not to God. Okay? Not to God. Just all that matters to God is that you are pleasing Him. That's it. That's all God is looking for. Is that you put Him first. You're pleasing Him above all else. Okay? And that you're not forgetting the lesson. Alright? So that's just one of the many big lessons. You learn how to take it one day at a time. Alright, so back to that, you know, and sometimes the project will overlap, but it's the same project, just doing a little bit different things with it. Alright, that, that can happen. And that's fine, but just one day at a time. So like that for today, alright, for this day that I did all of that, okay, that it was like, okay, but that's it. That's all that was on the agenda. Remember, we learned to set one daily major goal okay one all right once we can accomplish that anything else that we get get do get done in that day that's the bonus okay that's how that works for anybody who needed that reminder all right because i you know i don't recall the original author who i i came across an article about that and it just it resonated because I said that's so true because when we were in the narcissistic matrix that lake of fire we were taught to make a to-do list of like 10 things and then we got to rush around and get all done in one day no in God's reality no one thing off that list okay yeah you could have 10 things listed if if, if need be okay but just one thing a day because if you, once we can get that, remember, God is the only validation we need. Okay? So, we get that one thing done for the day, and then anything else that we're able to accomplish after that is a bonus. Okay? So, that's how, that's how God works. And that's how he helps us develop that God-like patience. We go, okay. I mean, I know that we, we read that tomorrow is not promised. Okay? And it's not. However... You know, whatever we can do to serve the kingdom of God uh, uh, per day, all right? Whatever we can do, and then anything after that is a bonus, 
Okay? That's that. All right, so for any question, don't hesitate to reach out. You know where to reach me for additional information, insight, and other good stuff. You can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.